guys and welcome back. So I thought I would do a video about how to look stylish in the cold. I'm talking, I'm talking cold, really, really cold. So if that's something that interests you, then just keep watching this video. All right, so it is December, right? And January is just around the cold corner and that's usually the most coldest times of the year. I mean, obviously it depends on where you live, but I know that is how it is for New York. And it gets harder, or at least it seems to be more challenging to know what to wear when it is absolutely freezing and all you're doing is just wearing the same puffer jacket or the same coat, you know, you've got your uniform of how you're wearing when it's really, really bitterly cold and the wind is blowing, etc. But there are certain little style tricks that you can learn and here I'm just going to run through them all and just share them with you. One of them, first of all, is colour. Now, it's typical to only wear black and very dark colors during the winter time, but one of the best ways that you can stand out and look stylish is just by wearing the opposite to what is expected and to wear a much brighter color. You pick a color that is complementary to your skin tone and that you love, it's a favorite color. It could be a cobalt blue, it could be a dusty pink, it could be winter white. But the fact is you're going against the majority, aren't you? You're gonna stand out in a sea of everyone else who's wearing black. You can find so many bright coats and outerwear at such good price points. I'll link some for you below. So you can always, there's no excuse these days to not be warm and stylish at the same time. Color. Now to take that a little step further, why not marry or pair the scarf and maybe the jumper that's peeking out from underneath that uh, bright coat together. So if it's say, say it's like a mustard yellow coat or a camel coat, right? I would wear the camel coat with this particular polo neck because it's like a camel nude color. So I put that with that. And then maybe you can find a camel scarf and just wear those three. Those three combos alone is gonna make you look instantly kind of chic and put together and like you put an effort into it and you're still comfortable and warm and stylish at the same time. But don't forget there are certain colors that complement each other. I've mentioned to you before that I'm a big fan of jewel tones and jewel tones always work together. I'm talking about sapphire blues, emeralds, greens, uh, ruby reds. You can interchange those colors and they will always work together because, it's so weird I do that, because they are just dark but vibrant colors, I call them, because they're just so beautiful. So if you find anything along those lines, whether it's your outerwear or inside as well, just match them together, put them together, put that sapphire blue with that jewel toned um, ruby red and see how beautiful that combination looks together. They always work. Now I've got down here in my notes, there are other color combinations that I personally think look really good together. Uh, navy and browns. They look gorgeous together, like navy and tan or navy and um, dark chocolate browns. They look really good together. Um, let me think, black and white monochromatic, that is like stand out and that always looks good together. So can you imagine if you're wearing like a winter white coat and you just wear black underneath it, that is gonna look, bing, look like stunning or reverse it and just wear white underneath it, like a white jumper and wear like maybe like white denim maybe. Um, and then you put like the black coat over it, that's gonna look so, so good. And wear like metallic silver boots. That's what I would do with something like that. God, that monochromatic, again, stylish, but warm and practical and doable. Um, what other colors look good together? Um, bottle green, medium greens, and dark purple. They look get good together. Bottle greens and chocolate browns look good together, and chocolate browns with navy look good together. Write these things down or we'll re-watch this video because I, these colors really do pair well. So when you're like alone and you're not seeing this video anymore, maybe it's out of your mind, maybe just write them down. Either put them on your phone so when you're in stores, you can look and say, okay, so that and that goes together. Let me just pull this together. And literally do it yourself. Test it. Put those two colors together and pair them and see what it looks like. Or maybe have like a note, sticky note on your wardrobe and just so you can remind yourself of those color combinations that work together. So you don't like pull open your, do your doors and go, um, what was it again? What goes with what? Like, you know, these are just sort of rough ideas and guidelines to help inspire you. Um, pinks and navy look stunning together. Either way you play them up, it doesn't matter what the garments are, those two color combinations look really, really good. So yeah, so you get the point, red and orange looks good together as well. So the point is, there's certain color combinations that marry beautifully together and apply that um, logic throughout the winter as well and don't just rely on black. 
Oh, clash prints. There's nothing wrong in clashing prints during the winter time. Similar vibe prints, just one is a giant size. <laughs> right by the boob one is a giant size and one is a smaller size and just put those prints together and you can apply that logic to a lot of things hey I used to live in fedoras years ago um, but now that my hair is kind of like this it doesn't really fit as much um, but that's an, to me that's an obvious one you use I think you lose 70% of your heat through your head so rock the fedoras rock the uh, bobble hats if you want um, and don't forget again use pick carefully with the color don't just necessarily go with like a basic black pick a color it could be a statement color. it could be like a cobalt blue um, fedora because you have a gray coat and gray and blues actually work together you see what again see what I'm doing I'm applying that same philosophy I have this and what I would do I would wear something like this together because what I'm doing is I'm pairing the same family together instead so this is like warm tans and browns this baker boy hat it's actually from the men's section okay I'm not putting it on correctly right now but when I do have it on correctly which is not right now can't do it in front of the camera and everybody but anyway I do have this fedora hat and I absolutely love it and I think it looks so cute on um, and yeah so this is something that I like to wear just wear hats and really use them but don't necessarily stick to black like I said I'm wearing that because I like the way it looks with this again think about things like that another one is to prolong the longevity of your leather jackets like it's just a classic classic Boy, this is like the classic jacket. Why not? As long as it's like sort of a fairly like tightish, like shrunken fit, then you can take like a slightly oversized coat and layer. I like the play of layering the two textures, the two materials of the leather together with this as well. Now I'd probably wear a different color polo neck because remember I talked to you about the two color the sort of theory that I like I would probably wear a black under this which would to me would just like keep the focus sort of all around here and it's just another layer for you to just stay really warm and I've done this before and it just it just works it keeps you warm and then you tie it around like this nobody knows you've got a leather jacket on especially when you have a coat that's a little bit oversized and there you go you've got like these two textures together you've got like the leather and you've got the wool as well but I just think it's such a cool way to just prolong the life as it were of your leather piece Another tip is to wear faux leather leggings underneath your skirt. Now instead of wearing tights, which you can still do, why not go with a pair of like, you know, fairly slim fitting faux leather leggings and then you've got like your ankle boots and then you've got like your long like a midi skirt or a knee length skirt. It's such a badass look, I'm sorry, but it just, it just looks so kind of edgy and you've edged out wearing your skirt and I think that's such a cool look and it could be a pleated skirt it could be just a long like I said midi skirt which is slightly structured um, it could be a suede skirt a suede skirt with the leather underneath it that looks so freaking cool I love that and again you're layering up but you're still say, staying really warm but you're finding a way to do it in a way that's stylish and another one is to why not try a faux fur stole. I love a good stole. It's like a sort of scarf, isn't it? All you've got to do is bung it on to whatever you've got. I've had this one for donkey's years. I think I got it from Banana Republic a long time ago. Put it over anything you've already got and it just sort of gives the look that that is your coat, if you know what I mean. It looks like that is your coat. It's like a little loop here. You can pull it through. So, and I've done this and because it's going so tight around my neck, it keeps me super, super warm. Just walking out the door, maybe put your sunglasses on, and maybe you just got like um, a fedora or whatever hat you want. Oh, this is so, so good. If this is, oh, this has seen me see through so many seasons. It's so warm and it just looks like it's part of your coat, doesn't it? And this goes over any sort of coat as well. That's why I love wearing stuff like this so much. The thing is with stoles is that you can get them in different colors, different iterations. I've got this one as well. This one is a lot shorter, but it's got that kind of Mongolian fur. It feels so warm. So you don't have to compromise and feel like, my God, what do I wear when it's so cold? Look at this video, hopefully it'll spark off some ideas on things you can pick up. Um, I like the idea of wearing one color 
and just sort of breaking up throughout if you can. So like I said, I've got this in tan, right? So I'd probably reach for my long teddy coat. I just think this color combination just looks so good together. All these kind of like golden warm browns, so, so pretty. Would you just wear this? And the reason why I like how this looks versus wearing a black, I could wear in a black underneath, like just go black underneath right or navy just wear monochromatic navy and then put this on because remember i said navy and browns navy and tans they pair well together so go back to the beginning of this video and like i said note down those things that the colors that look good together and just use that as your guide and for this i'm just obviously going with neutrals so i'm staying warm but i've still got the kind of colors going on here which look complementary to each other so taking that just one step further with wearing all neutrals together but keeping with the same sort of warm colors i was telling you about to wear this suede chocolate brown skirt again i'm just moving one stage further with pairing taking one color which in this case is like nude or brown and just breaking it down stretching it out and wearing everything in that same color family you know what guess what else i'm doing i'm wearing this over my jeans so i still have my jeans on it's such a wide open skirt that it just can lend itself like i can wear jeans underneath it you can wear like just skinny jeans underneath it why not and then you can pick like boots which is like maybe dark brown or sort of chocolate brown the same color family again so you understand the point it's just one color all the way through it's warm so it's functional but you're still trying your best to focus on stuff. Another tip for you when it's really bitterly cold outside is to just double up your tights. Um, one pair is just not enough. It's not gonna cut it, is it? When you wear a pair of tights, like just, just try it. Put on a pair of tights and then take another pair of tights and put it on over it. The difference in the warmth is night and day. I've never tried three pairs. <laughs> So I'm not sure if anyone does let me know in the comments if you do but I know when you do double up with two tights because I've done it my girlfriend Daria has done it Rihanna's done it double up with your tights and you will notice the difference instantly another one as well is to wear leggings underneath your um, skirt especially if you're like me you're a fan of like midi skirts and stuff like that and if you've got like a pair of tall boots that disappear under the midi skirt at that point, nobody knows what the heck you're wearing underneath the skirt, nor should they. Um, so wear leggings underneath them. I know American Apparel used to do, um, they called them winter leggings. I still have one pair of mine left. I washed them to death and they're like on their last legs, but I just cannot get rid of them. But I'm sure that other stores do um, versions of them. They're basically just leggings, but just thick leggings, like much warmer. Um, and you just wear those underneath your midi skirts or underneath your skirts and then you put your um, boots on under that that's it no one is going to see it especially like I said if you wear a boot that will go on top of the leggings underneath no one's going to notice that you've got leggings on and you've just doubled if not kind of tripled your warmth now sticking with boots um, over the knee over the knee boots are warm I wore a pair um, before I came to St. Lucia. I'm there at the moment. Um, and she was going to say, I was wearing jeans. I remember, I think it was my H&M high-waisted jeans, the mum jeans. And I put like these Stuart Weitzman like over the knee boots over them. It was cold that day, but I felt so snugly when I put the over the knee boots over the jeans. It just instantly doubled the warmth and it just cut that wind going through the jeans because it's got that extra layer. And that's really the the way to like sort of stay warm isn't it it's when you put like a couple of layers two or three layers on that helps buffer the wind and the cold coming through versus just wearing one big chunk in it and the wind just goes straight through it and you're like oh god i'm freezing you know what i mean you've got to like double up and that's the principle probably behind the tights as well it's the fact you're doubling up that is what makes it difficult for the wind to get through and over the knee boots are probably hands down still i think one of the perennial winter favorites for how to stay warm and how to be stylish at the same time you can get a pair of flat ones like the lowland boots um, you can get them all leather don't have to be suede um, and you can get them block heels, high heel. You decide. I'll link to some favorites down below. Different price, 
price points, not just Stuart Weitzman, but just try it and put it over leggings or put it over like thick leggings if you want, or put it over your jeans and just see that instant like doubling of the warmth factor. And of course, you look really cool at the same time. Another tip for you when you want to stay like kind of stylish in the cold weather is I ripped this one straight from my mate Paula in London. Hi Paula. Yes, I am going to give a shout out to your tip. She wore a parka and um, I said to her, oh, I love this. And you know what she did? It was a hoodie that was trimmed with fur and she just like had it pulled up over her face. And it looked so snugly. She found that uh, fur piece at a flea market and she just added it to the trimming of, she just trimmed the hoodie with it and it looked so good. I mean, on, pick the color you want, just go down to like flea markets or maybe you can find a stole, something like this, and just make sure you're wearing that hoodie and just measure it across end to end and then you just put it on and then you just got like the hood and it just goes on like that and it just looks so not, obviously this looks, God, that looks pathetic, doesn't it? But you know what I mean? Find that piece that you can use and you can trim it on the hoodie of your parka or of a jacket that you've got that has a hood. It's just a nice way to add new life to something you already have that's existing and you look stylish and warm at the same time. Also, this sounds like a pretty simple one, but it's worth bears repeating. Dark glasses. Wear a pair of glasses when it's freezing outside and it just looks, you instantly have that chic factor. It's nothing to do with warmth, it's just a pure styling element and it's a finisher that I call it. And it could just be a big pair of dark glasses that suit you, whether it's squared, whether it's oversized cat, whatever your face shape and suits you. Um, or maybe it could pay, be a pair of like just classic aviators, maybe the usual like black ones or maybe like a tinted one, like a rose tin or a yellow tin or a blue tin. You decide the ones where it's like slightly transparent, it'll instantly give a retro vibe for those particular last aviator shades I mentioned to anything you're wearing. Again, that's not about being warm, it's about finishing the look that you've already got and just putting those glasses on it's functional because if it's a really you know, like a ski weather I call it where it's blue skies the sun is blazing like it's really bright light but the snow is on the ground it's that kind of thing so you put the sunglasses on because it's protecting your eyes from that brilliant sun and also the biting wind that's like hitting your face at the same time so there is a practicality to the sunglasses but it's just the fact that it just looks so cool and it just makes you look so good at the same time you've got like a no makeup day you just like want to get out the door and it's freezing outside just put your glasses on god it solves solves everything and of course, last but not least, a good pair of gloves. Leather gloves never go out of favor, they just don't. Um, black is obviously the classic that goes with everything, but once you start with black, you know, you can always move on to other colors as well. I would probably, as a second color, go for something in the dual tone family, maybe a beautiful navy pair of leather gloves or a sort of claret wine red. That would look stunning with some of those color combinations I mentioned to you at the very beginning of this video. Dark bottle green pair of leather gloves and make sure that they are lined, whether it's like cashmere lined or fleece lined. That's the practicality element coming out, married with the style as well. And make sure that it's the longer line gloves as well. So you've got that warmth going all the way up here. So it disappears under your coats, under your jackets, under whatever you're wearing. And you're just like this. And all you see is like this gorgeous leather gloves and you're nice and warm and it's so flipping stylish. Anyway, so that is my lot. Those I think are all the tips that I had in mind to share with you as like, sort of like winter hacks in a way, just ways for you to remain stylish in the bitter, bitter cold. So if this video helped you a little bit, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Right now, as I've said before, I am in St. Lucia, um, so it's not cold there. But if you want to see what I'm getting up to, I'm there on holiday. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram and you'll see everything going up on my Instagram stories and what I'm getting up to. But that is it. I hope this helped you and um, yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Bye guys.